dear students in this module we will discuss about soil pollution mainly caused by plastics as we all know pollution has a deadly impact on not just the environment but also the health of living beings plastics mainly as plastic bags when they are buried in soil they remain there for a very long period of time this leads to deterioration in the soil fertility the soil pollution caused due to plastics and polythene waste is often referred to as plastic pollution technically speaking plastic pollution can be defined as the accumulation of different types of man made plastic materials on land as well as in water bodies where they create problems for wildlife and their habitats as well as for human population plastic as you are already aware is basically a synthetic polymer that consists of many organic and inorganic compounds and is mostly derived from petrochemicals like olefins plastic materials are mainly classified as recyclable plastics and non recyclable plastics in the modern society although plastics are extremely useful in many ways and have been an important part of the global polymer industry but still their production as well as disposal pose a great threat to all the life forms on earth it is estimated that plastics generally degrade in about 500 to 1000 years there is no doubt that plastic has replaced the traditional material as packing and carry bags because of cost and convenience which is possibly a wrong choice of material for such use apart from plastic carry bags other forms of plastic waste arises out of the discarded electronic components electronic toys batteries pollute the land and also clog the water bodies like canals rivers and lakes especially in the urban areas do you know that every year about 100 million tons of plastic is produced all over the world out of which 25 million tons of non degradable plastic gets accumulated in the environment in this context it is very important for all of us to study the prevention and control methods in order to reduce the plastic pollution the control methods mainly include recycling of plastics prohibition on manufacturing and selling of certain plastic materials use of paper bags and other cloth material there is a pertinent need of evolving better practices for use of plastics and scientific waste management systems for its disposal for example by making use of eco friendly plastics or degradable plastics as we commonly call them chemically degradable plastics and photo degradable plastics should be encouraged let us understand all these in detail with the help of graphics and visuals
Plastic is a synthetic polymer that consists of many organic and inorganic compounds and is mostly derived from petrochemicals like olefins. Plastic materials are mainly classified as recyclable plastics and non-recyclable plastics. Although plastics are extremely useful in many ways and have been an important part of the global polymer industry, plastic generally degrades in about 500 to 1000 years. During its manufacture, many hazardous chemicals are emitted that can lead to dreadful diseases in humans as well as other animals. In the recent years, plastic usage has increased exponentially. The problem is that we do not know how to dispose of all the plastic that we produce. This has created major problem, not only for our environment, but also the marine life and eventually our own health. Thus, the focus of this module will be on learning about plastic and its environmental hazards, knowing the sources of plastic pollution, understanding the role of green chemistry in controlling plastic pollution, and analyzing the preventive methods and treatment to manage plastic pollution. Let's begin by asking the question, what is plastic pollution? Plastic pollution is defined as the accumulation of different types of man-made plastic materials on land as well as in water bodies where they create problems for wildlife and their habitats as well as for human populations. Now let's study the main sources of plastic pollution. These are first plastics used as packing material. Plastic has replaced the traditional material paper, cloth etc as packing and carry bags because of cost and convenience. Even though plastic bags can preserve food and also has multiple use, their methods of disposal has created unprecedented pollution problem. When it is disposed of in landfill sites, it does not decompose at a fast rate and hence pollutes the land or soil in that area. Second, as computer accessories and other electronic gadgets. Plastic waste arising out of the discarded electronic components, electronic toys, batteries, etc. pollute the land and also clog the water bodies like rivers and lakes, especially in the urban areas. Plastics and its environmental hazards. The main issue with plastics is that they don't biodegrade easily. Plastic is a long-lived substance as it cannot be easily broken naturally. There are several types of plastics having different densities and chemical properties, but they all have one thing common in them and that is it takes space and pollute our land when thrown away or dumped in landfill waste. The thin plastic bags might slowly break down, tear and rip into pieces over a period of time, but the small remaining bits of plastic remain can cause problems if eaten by animals as they release toxins into the animal system and into our food chain. Plastic containers, bottles, household items and other more durable plastic items will not even decompose into small pieces. Let us discuss some bitter facts based on pollution caused by plastics. It is estimated that approximately 70,000 70, tons of plastic is dumped into the oceans and seas globally. Discarded fishing nets and other synthetic materials are eaten by terrestrial as well as aquatic animals leading to the bioaccumulation of plastics inside their bodies. This can cause choking in them 
ultimately leading to their death. One plastic drink bottle takes up to 450 years to decompose in a landfill site. And plastic bags can also take hundreds of years to fully decompose. The rural areas are more prone to this type of pollution as use of plastics is used by majority of the people here. These plastic bags are eaten by many stray animals and cause their death due to improper disposal system. When the plastics are dumped in landfills, they can interact with water and form hazardous chemicals. If these compounds seep down towards groundwater, they degrade the water quality leading to groundwater pollution. Also, the blockage due to plastic accumulation results in breeding of mosquitoes which might cause numerous diseases in humans. The drinking water quality is deteriorating by the chemicals released by plastics. Burning plastic leads to contamination of the atmosphere due to the release of poisonal chemicals leading to air pollution. Let us understand all these in detail with the help of graphics and visuals. As we know, plastic is hazardous to environment because it does not get biodegraded. Approximately 70,000 tons of plastic are dumped in the oceans and sea globally. These are eaten by terrestrial as well as aquatic animals leading to the bioaccumulation of plastic inside their bodies. These can cause choking in them ultimately leading to their death. Blockage due to plastic accumulation may form shelters for the breeding of mosquitoes and other harmful vector insects which may cause numerous diseases in humans. Also, burning plastic leads to contamination of the atmosphere due to the release of poisonous chemicals leading to air pollution. Recycling requires laborers who are at risk of developing skin and respiratory problems due to inhalation of toxic chemicals. When dumped in landfills, plastic materials interact with water and form hazardous chemicals which seep down in earth, leading to groundwater pollution. Because of these hazards, the prevention and control of plastic usage is of utmost importance. Plastic Recycling Separating the plastic products from the garbage and at home and handling over this plastic for recycling can reduce the impact of environmental pollution due to plastic waste. Plastic recycling industry is now a billion dollar industry in developed economics. Recycled plastic is usually used for laying down roads in places of butumen, bottles, benches, etc. Buying recycled plastic can also help with plastic management. Prohibition on manufacturing, selling of certain plastic material bags. Some government in the developed and developing countries has prohibited the manufacture and selling of plastic bags or materials that contain more than the standard prescribed microns of plastic. By this way, the excessive dependence on plastic has been controlled to some extent. Using paper bags and other cloth materials as shopping bags for a customer can be useful. Implementing the best civic practices as the citizens of a community or country, the proper disposal of plastic should be ensured. Using garbage bins, dust bins, and public places for disposing the plastic water bottle, food containers, and other plastic material. And avoiding throwing it on roads, open spaces, and water bodies. Create awareness among the people about safer practices of plastic waste. That's the way forward for plastic at present. Reduce its use and application, reuse it and then recycle it. Now we will study the future alternative of waste treatment is the use of eco-friendly plastic that is biodegradable plastics. 
the principle is to incorporate some chemicals into the plastic that is photodegradable, biodegradable or chemically treatable. Chemically degradable plastics can be broken up by spraying them with a solution that causes them to dissolve into harmless materials which can be flushed down the drain. Photodegradable plastics contain chemicals that slowly disintegrate when exposed to light. For example, plastic called Ecolite is photodegradable, but to stop them decaying too early, they must be stored away from direct sunlight, which can be of some inconvenience to the retailer. Disposal of plastic waste is a serious concern in India. New technologies have been developed to minimize their adverse effects on the environment. Using Incinerator Plastic waste is being buried in incinerator centers located outside the city. This technique eliminates huge volume of plastic materials. Utilization of plastic waste in road constructions. The process of road laying using waste plastics is designed and the techniques is being implemented successfully for the construction of flexible roads at various places in India. Co-processing of plastic waste in Cement Kill Link, Central Pollution Control Board has granted permission to many cement plants to co-process the hazardous and non-hazardous including plastic waste in their kills after trial burns. Plasma Pyrolysis Technology PPT, it is the state-of-the-art technology which integrates the thermochemical properties of plasma with the pyrolysis process. The intense and versatile heat generation capabilities of plasma pyrolysis technology enables it to dispose of all types of plastic waste in a safe and reliable manner. The study of ocean is important to know about valuable things which helps us in understanding the world around us. It also helps us in comparing the healthy marine environment with unhealthy one. Biosphere is nothing but a circle of life which includes all living things in air, land and water. Biosphere includes biotic factors as well as abiotic factors. Biotic factors include all living things such as living plants and animals. On the other hand, abiotic factors includes non-living things such as soil, water and temperature. Abiotic factors help in the working of ocean because phytoplankton, which is the base of the food chain, needs light, nutrients and carbon dioxide for the process of photosynthesis. And all these factors are abiotic in nature. It is important to protect the oceans in order to maintain the biodiversity of the earth. Plastic is an important pollutant which causes pollution in the marine environment. Plastic has replaced the traditional material that is paper, cloth, etc. for packing because of the cost and convenience which is the possibly a wrong choice of material for such use. The method of disposal of plastic causes pollution as when it is disposed. It does not decompose at a fast rate and hence pollutes the land or soil in that area. Over 260 species including invertebrates have been reported to have either indigested plastic or become entangled in the plastic. When a species gets entangled, its movement is seriously reduced, therefore making it very difficult to find food. It has been estimated that over 400,000 marine mammals perish annually due to plastic pollution in oceans. In 2004, it was estimated that seagulls in the North Sea have an average of 30 pieces of plastics in their stomach. Marine plastic pollution can even reach to birds that never have been at sea. Nurdles are the type of microplastic that are shipped in this form often in cargo ships, to be used for creation of plastic products. A significant amount of nurdles are spilled into oceans and it has been estimated that globally around 10% of beach litter is nurdles. 
Plastics in the oceans typically degrade within a year, but not entirely. And in the process, toxic chemicals such as bisphenol and polystyrene can leach into waters from some plastics. Polystyrene pieces and nurdles are the most common types of plastic pollution in the ocean and combined with plastic bags and food containers make up the majority of oceanic debris. In 2012, it was estimated that there was approximately 165 million tons of plastic pollution in the world's oceans. Let us now discuss about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch which has one of the highest plastic particulate matter suspended in the upper water column. As a result of which, researchers have studied the effects and impact of plastic photodegeneration in the neostonoclear of water. The photodegradable plastic is different from the organic molecules as it disintegrates into even smaller species while remaining as a polymer. This process continues down to the molecular level. As the plastic breaks into smaller and smaller pieces, they get concentrated in the upper layer of the water. The degradable plastic is small enough to be ingested by aquatic organisms living in the ocean and hence enter the food chain. Some plastic decompose within a year of entering the water but takes a longer time to decompose. In a study of 2001, researchers found concentration of plastic particles 334,721 pieces per kilometer square in the new stone. The overall concentration of plastics was found to be seven times greater than the concentration of zooplankton. Samples collected at deeper inside the water column found much lower concentration of plastic particles. Nevertheless, according to the mentioned estimates, only a very small part of the plastic would be near the surface. Some of these long-lasting plastics end up in the stomachs of marine birds and animals, including sea turtles. Most of the aquatic organisms have plastic in their digestive system. These toxic coating plastic pieces are often eaten by jellyfish which are then eaten by larger fish. Many of these fish are then consumed by humans resulting in their ingestion of toxic chemicals. Marine plastics also facilitate the spread of invasive species that attach to floating plastic in one region and drift along distances to colonize the other ecosystem. Till now we have discussed the microscopic level. As the macroscopic level is concerned, the large size of plastic kills fish, birds and turtles. As for animals, the digestion of plastic is difficult and it cannot be broken easily to taking up space inside their stomachs. While eating their normal source of food, plastic ingestion can be unavoidable. Research has shown that this plastic marine debris affect at least 267 species worldwide and a few of the 267 species reside in the North Pacific Grey. Plastic take a long time to break naturally. Plastics are differentiated on the basis of densities and chemical properties, but they are generally common. A small amount of plastic can cause problem if eaten by animals as they release toxins into the digestive system of the animals via the food chain. Let us discuss about some bitter facts based on plastic pollution. It is estimated that over the last 10 years we have produced more plastic than during the whole of the last century. Enough plastic is thrown away each year to circle the earth four times. We currently recover only 5% of the plastics we produce. Plastic accounts for around 10% of the total waste we generate. Annually, approximately 500 billion plastic bags are used worldwide. More than 1 million bags are used every minute. It takes 500 to 1000 years of plastic to degrade. 
Plastic constitutes approximately 90% of all trash floating on the ocean's surface, with 46,000 pieces of plastic per square mile. 1 million seabirds and 100,000 marine mammals are killed annually from plastics in our ocean. 44% of all seabird species, 22% of cetaceans, all sea turtle species, and a growing list of fish species have been documented with plastic in or around their bodies. Some compounds found in plastic have been found to alter hormones or have other potential human health effects. All the commodities made of plastics are handy, it is important to become aware of the harm that plastic causes to life on earth. One cannot rule the advantages of plastic but it is better that we take some effective preventive measures to reduce this type of pollution. We should avoid throwing plastic garbage in open spaces, public places, water channels, rivers, sea beaches and other fragile natural resources or environment. We should follow the government regulation relating to plastic management and help the government agencies in dealing with plastic waste. We should also create awareness among people about safe practices of plastic waste management and run a campaign if possible with the help of other agencies who are involved in plastic waste management programs. Plastic disposal is a serious issue in India. In order to minimize the effect of plastic pollution, several new technologies are developed in India. New technologies help in elimination of huge amount of plastic wastes. Efforts to reduce the use of plastics and to promote plastic recycling have occurred. Some supermarkets charge their customers for plastic bags and in some places more efficient reusable or biodegradable material are being used in the place of plastics. Some communities and business have put a ban on some commonly used plastic items such as water bottles and plastic bags. Let us summarize what we have learned till now. In this module, we have discussed about plastic pollution. We have learned that plastic pollution is the accumulation of plastic material on land and in water bodies where they create problems for wildlife and their habitats as well as for human population. We have also learned that plastics are synthetic polymers that consist of many organic and inorganic compounds. We have discussed the various sources of plastic pollution. Plastic pollution is mainly due to the use of plastic products as packaging material. We have studied the prevention and control methods in order to reduce the plastic pollution. In this particular context, we have considered recycling of plastic prohibition on manufacturing and selling of certain plastic materials and use of paper bags and other cloth material. In this way, the use of plastics can be controlled. Plastic pollution can also be reduced by making use of eco-friendly plastics. We have also talked about some bitter facts based on plastics that is, it is long-lived substance and cannot be easily broken. Depending upon the densities and chemical properties, they are classified into several types. The small bits of plastics can be eaten by animals and result in the release of toxins into the food chain. So, dear students, it is our collective responsibility to take steps in this direction and prevent plastic pollution
to the extent possible.